Shalom Aleichem, this is Brother Kobe. Today I'm going to talk to you about politics. I usually don't like this topic, can't stand it. Uh, guys, poly in French means many ticks, you know, bloodsuckers. Usually I come on this channel and I, 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 Lord, give me the gift of prophecy where you give me dreams, you know, or you put things in my spirit or give me a word and I release it to y'all. That's usually what I use this channel for. It's, uh, this video is not that case. This is just going to be my opinion, my fleshly, earthly opinion, which means nothing. Your opinion is probably just as good as mine. Mine's not better than yours. It's This is what I'm seeing. This is what I have a lot of questions I don't have a lot of answers to. And I'm just going to put it out there. And I hope maybe you see what I see too. Okay. First of all, I got to say, most pastors won't talk about politics. You know why? Because most pastors signed a contract with the IRS through 501c3 tax exemptions where they can't mention politics. Mm -hmm. Or they can't speak against certain marriages because whatever the state has legalized, you can't speak against because they signed that contract. And as long as they continue to abide by those rules, they keep their hand out, keep getting paid. That they take the bribe, right? Tax exemptions. They keep their tax exemptions. And if they go against these uh this these rules that they sign, they, they'll lose their tax exemption status and they'll close their church. Shame on you, you pastors who've done this. Shame on you. That's disgusting. A pastor is supposed to be the mouthpiece for the Lord, for the for his flock, and yet they signed a contract with the with the the, the government and IRS to, to, to not speak on certain things so they can still get paid and keep all the money. Oh, that makes me sick. They have muzzled the mouthpiece of the, the pastor so he can get paid. Oh, that's sickening. Come out of that stuff, man. Shame on you. Come out of that. Makes me sick. Oh. And it's most of the churches that does this, man. I don't want to have nothing to do with none of that, guys. Mm -mm. We'll never sign no contract telling me to shut up. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody's player. Mm -mm. Mm. Nobody's pawn. No, sir. Anyway. A few months ago, I was watching this uh, video where Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq, admitted that the NBA was... Uh, scripted and i saw another video where this nfl player was saying the same thing that is scripted when you sign in these contracts they hand you a script you, such and such season this is going to happen you're going to blow your acl the next season they already know who's going to win before even the game started it, it, it's a big screen it's a big play man it's a big show Surely boxing got to be with the revenue and the money and they want to control those odds in their favor. And, and I mean, dude, think about it. You go to a casino. How do these casinos staying open if they keep giving you all this money, right? It's designed for them to, to stay open, to keep making more money than what they're paying you. Don't go to casinos. That's a sin. Okay. But I'm just saying, if you look around, things ain't what they seem, man. These, these, these. Job market numbers and unemployment markers, uh, numbers. I remember years ago, they said it was at 4%. I don't know what it is today, but it's like it was at 4%. And I, you couldn't find a job nowhere. And they'll tell you, it's the best economy ever. And you see all these stores closing. And you're like, yeah, guys, don't believe everything you hear. And I started thinking about the uh, the stock market. You know, if we're 35 trillion in a hole, how we how is this whole country staying afloat? And it's not just a day or two, it just so happened. This has been going on for years, decades. We've been in the hole spending more money than we could make. You try that in your home, you'll be bank bankrupt in months. It doesn't make any sense, guys. And of course, the market's designed to benefit them. And it got me thinking about the election. Surely that got to be rigged too. Mm. 
man, most of these guys come in, they promise change. They might have be somewhat wealthy, middle class or somewhat wealthy to come in. They come out millionaires. They were shoving their pockets, stuffing them. A lot of them, they say they're going to do things they don't do usually. It's, I mean, Mary Landrieu, uh, turn around, she'd come out with houses all over. She even got one in New York. I'm like, what? Where are where you getting all this money from? It's, it's just sickening. It really is. Guys, Democrats, Republicans, I truly believe that they're the, the different wings to the same bird. I hope I'm wrong. I mean, you, you look at them, you stay, they seem like they hate each other. They seem on their opposite sides. But why are they giving fist bumps and stuff on the, on the uh, not the rig floor, <laughs> forgive me, on the uh, Congress floor or wherever it is, the Senate? Or, I'm like, what? Thought they didn't like each other. It kind of reminds me, you know, when the, I was watching wrestling in the 90s with the uh, Baptist youth group, and this one says he's going to kick this one's butt and this and that, and they put on a good show, but at the end of the day, they, they're drinking beer next to you with each other, you know, at the bar, and it's just a show. It kind of reminds me of my, uh, my Cajun uh, French grandma. I'd go visit her. She'd say, hey, Sha, hey, T, did you see the soaps? The soap operas, and she's like, Oh, this one ran off with this one's husband, this one faked his death. Oh, did you see? I'm like, What? And every day it was a different plot, it was a different twist. It was as the world turns, or whatever the soap opera was, she was watching, and it was the story she called it. And I hear these people, they be like, They indicted Trump again. Oh, it's his fourth assassination attempt. Oh, they took him off the ballot, and these people are eating this stuff up by the shovel loads. I just don't believe all that, do you? I sure hope I'm wrong on some of this stuff, man. Guys, I don't like none of them. You can't tell me, well, every four years to eight years, it flip-flops from Democrat to Republican and this one and that one. You, you can't tell me Bill Clinton was running the White House or oh, I, I feel your pain. Oh, I didn't hell. Oh, it was a cigar, or or, or Bush's Jr. was saying, oh, Obama, oh, no, Osama bin Laden, that guy, he ain't under this rock. Do you really believe these people are running this country? Wasn't Reagan a movie star? Hmm? Ain't Trump in the entertainment business? Zelensky over there in Ukraine, ain't he a, was a movie star? I mean, you look around like, what? Guys, how can I vote for a man who calls himself the father of the... I can't do it, guys. How can I vote for somebody who brags Operation Warp Speed? I don't like the other one either. I'm not voting for none of them. I think these people ain't who you think they are. Guys, if you, I ask you to pray, go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, who you want me to vote for? Do you want me to go to vote? That's between you and him. But I believe they're playing us, guys. I believe they're playing us. Why are these birds on the front lawn? Hmm? UH 60s on the White House lawn. That's what I'm talking about. Why are they there? Training exercises for evacuation? For what? Look at all these bills they pass in, guys. So they can shoot American citizens. Really? Look already stationed on. Look at their chess pieces being moved on the board. All these soldiers in National Guard. And they planning something. They expecting something. You know, remember them riots a few years ago? The Black Lives Matter movement, guys. All lives matter. But all of a sudden, right? It just so happened that these 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 fresh pallets of bricks, right? <laughs> they just place them right in the street. And nobody asks, how they got there? <laughs> Guys, they playing you, man. It's a psychops. They're using you. They're playing your emotions. And they're expecting some result from the people. 
Be careful. Please don't get caught up in that mess, guys. Be aware of your surroundings. Have a little extra food and water in your hand, because I, I got a feeling it's about to get stupid. Okay, I, I wouldn't be caught up in that mess. Please seek God on these matters. Like I said, uh, I hope I'm wrong on some of these things. Sometimes it's not fun being right either. Really, it's not. Uh, who I think is going to win, I don't I don't really know. I don't know. Most people I know down here, they vote Trump, hands down. There's only one lady I know that's voting, voting for the uh, Harris. But they, they're talking about civil war. The only way I could see there'd be civil unrest was if they put the lady in. Because nobody wants her. And, and if if Trump won, the uh, majority of the Democrats, uh, some of them can't fight them fight their way out of a paper bag to begin with. So I wouldn't see a civil war there. Or I don't know what's going to happen, guys. I really don't know. But I believe it's already predicted who's going to win. Does our vote count? I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. Um, now, they put on a good show with these illegals, and they're concerned about the numbers, and it make you think that your vote does count. You know, uh, the, the thing was rigged last, last election. Yes, the Holy Spirit told me it was rigged. And it makes me wonder how, how long it's been rigged, how long it's been going on. You know, I mean, if someone knows it was rigged, why even go run again? I, I don't, like I said, I have all these questions. It don't make no sense to me. If I was an 80-year-old billionaire, I wouldn't be fighting this stuff. I'd be on a yacht somewhere in the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, uh, so I got all kind of questions. I don't have the answers. I know what I'm seeing. Uh, for instance, I'll tell you one thing. Like, uh, the Lord blessed me with 2020 vision. And like, there's three different people acting as Joe Biden. Okay. One got earlobes, one don't. One got a weird messed up chin. They all look old up here and young down here. And all three of those people don't look like the original Joe Biden years ago. You can't tell me that's the same man. Ain't no way. And there's movie stars that don't look like they used to look like. And don't tell me plastic surgery, guys. There's some stuff that's in your face and people just don't see. If the American people would wake up and realize it's all rigged, there probably would be a revolutionary war. Maybe they want you to think you have a choice in the matter, and you really don't. I, I got all these questions, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave the comments section open temporarily, maybe, depending on how y'all act. Uh, please be polite down there. Now, the Lord's been uh, keeping me away from the politics, so not to get caught up in it, not to... I've been feeling distant from because I've been praying the past two or three months, Lord, do you want me to vote? Because I, I can't vote for a guy who says he's the father of the bee. I, I can't do it. Operation Warp Speed. Look up what that is. And like, I can't, I, I can't support that. I, I don't like the other one either. I'm like, Lord. I know somebody's going to blame me, whoever, because I didn't go vote. I, I'm i just saying, I I got peace about it, guys. I, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm asking you to go before the Lord. You ask him. Get you extra supplies. Be aware of your surroundings. Be careful, guys. It's, it looks like they're expecting or planning something. I, I wouldn't want to be caught up in the midst of that, okay? Be wise. Okay? Please go in peace. I'm interested to hear what y'all say in the comments. Uh, let's keep it cool. All right? Go in peace. Shalom.